This other is very compact, as you can see, it is very compact and it will be kept on the table. And it can be easily lifted. It weighs less than 30 kg, less than an ordinary pet rider which people have in their kitchen. This machine can process a lot of the small miller. As you can see, this is what we have processed. This is round top miller. And the process one comes like this. This is proso millet. Proso millet bread. And after processing, this is the rice. This is banyan millet bread. And this is the rice which we get after processing in this machine. This is kodo millet. After processing, we get this unpolished uh, kodo grain, kodo rice. Later we have grain, this is the rice which we have. All the rice are unpolished and hence uh, they retain all the nutrients, which is very essential. This is foxtail and foxtail uh, rice. The machine can process even very small quantities, say for example uh, 250 grams of it can process, which is not possible with the bulky machines which we see in uh, rice mills. In rice mills they ask for at least 5 to 10 kgs and uh, people don't uh, eat that much. So they have a problem in processing. So with this machine, even uh, if a small family can uh, process for 300 or 400 uh, grams. This machine is very energy efficient and it runs on a 0.5 HP injection motor. So this machine can be used in a household uh, three pin point. Uh, single phase is enough for uh, Plug and play mode of uh, this machine makes it very easy to operate and maintain. And even women or children can operate this machine. This is the hub and uh, you can see I will just put a little bit of small miller. Maybe probably 100 grams. You can see how the hulling happens. So even a handful of grains you can uh, hull in this machine. So th this may be very useful. This may be very useful for uh, even uh, labs and uh, government departments. Agriculture universities where uh, they can uh, test small uh, millet, which they find it very difficult to test in uh, small quantities. There is a little bit of uh, unhulled in this. So the, when we put the for the second time, we get 100% uh, hulling. The second put round. So this is a yellow foxtail miller. So no need for any adjustment or anything. First pass itself, you see, you can see you have got more than 90%. We will put it again and see what happens. So we have this 
में एच पी कनेक्शन ग्रेन्स पास थ्रू द हॉपर इन साइड द इम्पलर चैम्बर इन द इम्पलर चैम्बर दर इज एम्पलर मेड ऑफ प्लास्टिक एंड देन ए आउटर सरफेस मेड ऑफ रबर सो वॉट हैपन्स इज द ग्रेन्स पास थ्रू द इम्पलर रनिंग एट अ वेरी हाई स्पीड एंड इट हिट्स ऑन द रबर द इम्पैक्ट क्रिएट्स सच फोर्स दैट the top layer or the grains outer covering gets removed after removing it passes into the aspirator chamber in the aspirator chamber there is a fan which uh, sucks all the lighter material and uh, such material comes here so this is the husk and other lighter material which comes on the back side the grain comes on the front side There are only two openings. One side husk is coming, and one side the rice will come. And this machine maximum doesn't have any nuts and bolts and all hand tightening screws. So one this can be easily dismantled and again uh, uh, put back. The capacity of the machine is between 30 to 80 kg per hour. depending on what millers we are using in fact uh, little little fox tail and proso it requires only two passes through this machine while mondo banyard and bronta it requires three to four passes through this machine this machine can run continuously for around 2 hours after 2 hours you need to give it rest for around uh, half an hour and again you can do it so this machine will be useful for uh, SIGs or uh, persons uh, in villages interested in uh, doing a small entrepreneurship job right from their house. They don't need a extra uh, shop or a previous connection or a big floor space to put it. Uh, this machine costs is seventy five thousand rupees. Anybody interested can uh, contact me. My name is P Sarona and my contact number is. Eight double six seven five double six three six eight. Thank you.